All right, this video, we're gonna cover another question that came in from one of our YouTube users. They're asking, how do I increase the step over in a face milling block? So if you've ever programmed a face mill block, you realize that you don't have much control over what happens. So let's, let's show that. I've got a piece of stock geometry already created, six inches long, one inch thick, two and a half inches wide, and I'm gonna use a face mill that's three inches in diameter. Obviously, I only need to make one pass to be able to clean that, that piece of material up. And I only have so much control when I do a face mill block. So let's do that first. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a milling face mill block. I'm gonna start at one corner, front left corner of this part is zero, and it's six inches by 2.5. Let's say you're gonna have 20. I'll use tool 10, which I know is a three inch face mill. And I'm going to do unidirectional first. Again, bidirectional and unidirectional are our two options. If I hit draw now, you'll see that even though it is a three inch tool on a two and a half inch piece of material, it's still gonna take two passes. If I change this to bidirectional, where it's gonna do this move, step over and come back, which is where the question for our customer came from, I don't have any control. There's an algorithm inside of the control that uses the, the size of the material, the width of the material versus the tool, things like that, and it automatically selects that. If I wanna be able to control this with more um, information, or if I wanna be able to give it more control, then I need to do this in a lines and arcs contour. So. In this particular case, the way I would do that, let's go ahead and delete this block. I'll insert a milling lines and arcs. Now I'm gonna start uh, something farther off the part than the radius of the tool, because I'm not gonna use any cutter comp, because in this case, I'm just gonna make one pass down the center of the part. Huh. 2.5 divided by two. Having trouble with my math today. So we're gonna start a negative inch and three quarter off the part. We're gonna start right on the center of the part, which is one and a quarter. I'll go to 0.1, let's go down 20 thou in this particular case. I'll use tool 10 again. And we're gonna leave cutter comp on. I'm gonna move straight across the center of the part. My next segment will be a line. We're gonna to go to 7,750, so we're gonna to go to the six inches plus that same one inch 750 pass that I did before to make sure we start off the part, end off the part. Uh, 1.25 is still gonna be our Y. And if we draw it, now we have one pass down the center of the part, which is what we were looking for before. To answer the question that the person who asked specifically is to do that, I would do a line like I did here, I would step over in Y, move back in X, step over in Y, move back in X, and I would create the, the type of step over that I'm looking for, and that's how I can get around the uh, algorithm that the control uses automatically if I need to have that more control.